looking at in terms of our severe storm threat. This is why we saw those isolated tornadoes from Fernandina Beach all the way to Jacksonville, even inland. You're still under that marginal risk of severe weather. So that's a level one out of five. So that means the atmosphere is conducive for this threat of severe storms. Now heading into tomorrow, the atmosphere not as conducive, but I still want you to stay on alert because those storms will continue heading into your Sunday. Although the risk is pretty much general thunderstorms, it's still something to keep an eye on because it also extends into portions of southeast Georgia in our areas inland. So that's what we're going to be tracking heading into the next several hours. The rain continues across our area. Now taking a live look from our Atiga sky cam, a completely different story from what we were just looking at just about an hour ago. So the storms helped at least alleviate those foggy conditions, but you're also noticing some rainfall just ahead of it, all due to this frontal system, this warm front, so what this warm front actually does is it increases the moisture in the warm air. And that's why we saw some of these storms being fueled by this. And that's why they were allowed to rotate because the conditions are just favorable for that. But as we get more of that sunset and it gets a little bit more darker, the conditions will start to lessen, but still something to keep an eye on here over the next several days. Our temperatures are just very muggy. We're about the same in terms of that dew point temperature compared to the temperature. And usually that means that you get those foggy conditions. And that's why we were seeing this pretty much all day today. Now let's push it forward and track these storms for the rest of the evening. So you're noticing the strongest storms just moving offshore across uh, Atlantic Beach, Jacksonville Beach, and even Ponte Vedra. But as we head towards the evening, like I said, that secondary wave of storms will push into our area as early as nine o'clock. So this is something that we're gonna keep an eye on as it pushes through areas of Jacksonville, uh, just north of Brunswick, and even across Lake City. It will pack a punch. So another round of heavy rain is expected. Stay indoors if you can. This is gonna produce heavy rainfall and even frequent lightning. Now as we get into the overnight hours, some very scattered shower chances heading into your Sunday and then by early Sunday we may still be tracking some lingering showers from Lake City to Gainesville to even areas inland and that continuing into the morning hours. So if you are planning to be outdoors on your Sunday, uh, maybe canceling those and staying inside because these storms will continue across our areas even heading into Sunday where you're seeing those purples and reds. Those are indicating that these may be some strong storms heading into your Sunday. So I actually wouldn't be surprised if we saw an upgrade in terms of that severe risk heading into tomorrow. So something just to keep in mind with these storms as they push through our area, a very soggy weekend, not a good weekend for any sort of activities. And that'll continue for the rest of your Sunday and even heading towards the rest of the week. So once this is all done and over with, we may pick up some, uh, maybe up to half an inch of rainfall across some of our regions. Now, the next seven days, we're still gonna be tracking some rain chances heading into tomorrow, but looks like conditions will improving. As a frontal system pushes through our area, we're gonna see a drop in temperature and even overnight lows in the upper 40s for some locations.